In this example, we're asked to consider the Cartesian product of two sets, A cross B and B cross A, and we're asked to show that these are not equal to each other, so change colors here, that these are not equal to each other in general, okay, so in general. So there, it's possible that they could be equal to each other in special cases. That's what this means when you see in general that something is not true. That just means that it's not always true, right? And of course, that assumes that these two sets are non-empty. So to show that two things are generally not equal to each other, it only requires us to produce one counterexample. So for example, we can just make up some sets. So I'm just going to make these up randomly, but let's say A is the set 1, 2, and B is the set 3, 4. All right. Now, to show that these are not equal, if the sets are equal, they have to contain the exact same elements, right? So to show that they're not equal, we can just list out the elements of these. I, I, I picked some small sets, right, just to show, um, because I want to be able to work with them, right, but so just to show that these are not equal. So A cross B, remember, this is the set of all ordered pairs which take elements of A and then elements of B, and it has to be in that order, right? So 1, 3 is an element, uh, 1, 4 is an element, 2, 3 is an element, and 2, 4 is an element. And those are the only elements, right? So those are the only elements of A cross B. Similarly, if we write down B cross A, now the order matters, right? The order matters. So now we have to go in the reverse order for the ordered pairs. So the elements of this set are 3, 1, 3, 2, 4, 1, and 4, 2. And I think just by looking at this right now, we can see that these are obviously not equal to each other. So these are not equal. And so that's all it takes, just one counterexample. That's all. This is called a counterexample because it's an example that proves that this is not true, right? It's not the case. So it takes only one counterexample to show that these are not equal to each other. But then the question asks, what must be true of A and B if these sets are actually going to be equal to each other? So can you think of some criteria that we can set on these two sets, A and B, to ensure that the cross products are equal to each other. All right, well, just looking at this, number one, they should have the same number of elements, right? Because when you reverse uh, the order, then they have to have the same number of elements. So, well, the, the cross product have to have the same number of elements, right? So that's number one. And number two, when you reverse the order of the ordered pair, you should get back everything that you started with, right? And so the only way for these to be equal so A cross B equals B cross A if and only if, remember this is our shorthand notation for if and only if, IFF, -F, if and only if what? Well, hopefully you're saying this out loud as I, as I speak here, if and only if A and B are equal as sets, right? So that's the only way that this can happen. All right, and um, again, we are assuming now that neither of them are, are the empty set, right? So neither A nor B are, are the empty set, and then this is the criteria right here. All right.